What's, What's up, up YouTube? Welcome back, back to our channel. channel. Today's video is... What I wish I knew before coming to South Africa, part two. Let's go and let's get it. And this is going to be the positive things, y'all. Let's go and let's get it. He told us all the negative things in part one. So if you ain't checked out part one, go check it out. Simple as that. This is about to be the positive talk, y'all. So I'm excited to get in this because the first video is informable. Very informable. Like, he to go. Simple as that. I don't have nothing to say. But I'm ready to get in this, see what he talked about, and have some more fun. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Let's go and let's get it. On this food, it is fire. Some positive things about South, the, the, about my trip and everything. The positive. Travel expenses. Yo, travel expenses here are not bad at all. Uber in America is very expensive. Uber here is very reasonable. And I, I hey, I can't complain. I can't complain about Uber prices because they are actually nice here. Like, and even 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 though like the Uber was cheap, I would still I would still walk like I live close to Long Street, so I would walk. If you guys probably see me walking on Long Street or whatever it may be, like I did a lot of walking as well. So like places where I stayed in places where it was convenient to walk and things like that. So traveling traveling expenses was not bad. It kind of adds up, but then again, like you can't beat it compared to U.S. prices at all. You know what I mean? And it's probably compared to me renting a car, like as much as I Uber or whatever. Got to be the same type of pricing. And then the flights, like, I couldn't imagine, like, the flights are so, like, from, from Cape Town to Joburg, I wish I could take uh, these flight prices back to the U.S. with me to fly from Louisville to Atlanta or to L.A. or to Bay. But places are a lot further there, so it makes more sense. So. Hey, they had to put the food on the list. Oh, so, so wait, wait, wait. We got to pivot now. Y'all saying the flights don't call it that month to get up from Cape Town to go over to Johannesburg? I'm just saying. I'm just saying, man. Then we can fuck around. Get on, go on over to Botswana, go and visit Team Captain. Let's go. From Cape Town to Joburg, I wish I could take uh, these flight prices back to the U.S. with me to fly from Louisville to Atlanta or to L.A. or to Bay. But places are a lot further there, so it makes more sense. So. Hey, they had to put the food on the list as a good, for sure. The food has been fantastic. I've tried a lot of different foods since I've been here. One of the first one was uh, Makodu. Makodu. Which I like Makodu. Pop. Oh my gosh. Dombolo steamed bread. Um, the chicken feet. Uh, what else have I tried since I've been here? The sheep head. The, um, the cow head. Uh, was it the sheep head? Shit. Wait a second now. I ain't gonna count. I, 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 I can, I can, he had an open palate. Yeah, I can bowl it up and do it because I didn't have chicken feet. Like I said. Just What's don't the tell me the names, bro. Don't tell me the names. What name. chicken feet taste like? Do it taste bro, like chicken? I don't remember, bro. Because then I remember seeing But she had, he should have put pictures of everything. Yeah, he definitely should have threw the pictures and that would have been dope. But, I can't oh, do my sheep head. Ain't gonna cap, head. though. No, go ahead. My stomach right. hurt. Like, it sound not that attractive. Like, I ain't gonna cap. I ain't sound like something I want to eat. But like I said, when we get over there and y'all throw that shit to me, please don't tell me what it is first. Just let a nigga yeah, eat like, it. Yeah, literally. You, you, it should just get chopped up and come on a platter. Do yeah, not bring it. that head because yeah. you're going to be mad as fuck you cooked it. That's crazy. He excited about it, though, so you know it's fire. Like the sheep head. He's going dumb. Yeah. He like fire, yeah. bro. The pop, the steamed bread. Like, nah. Pig That's feet. Dombolo steamed bread. <laughs> um, the chicken feet. Uh, what else have I tried since I've been here? The sheep head, the um, the cow head. Uh, was it the sheep head is scopo, or I think they're both might be called scopo. But still, like I've tried everything, y'all. Uh, chicken intestines. Oh my. Uh, even mopani worms. Like I've tried everything, y'all. So like the food has been a plus here. Like just trying new things, trying the food. Chicken intestines. I'm not pig trying to Is that a different type of chili? I don't know. I'm just curious. But let's go. Ooh, experiencing all the new stuff has definitely been a positive and a good thing. And the next on the list is experiences. Like, my experiences here have been overall good. You know what I'm saying? Overall good from the entertainment side to, to, to everything. Like, everything has been really, really great on my first year visit here in South Africa. Like, everything has been have been fantastic. The good is hustling. Since I've been out here, I've learned so much knowledge and and just making money. You know what I'm saying? I've had time to. Re the good is hustling. He said he out there growing, elevating, evolving. We should be too each and every day because life is. I love it. Let's go. Like, everything has been has been fantastic. The good is hustling. Since I've been out here, I've learned so much knowledge and and just making money. You know what I'm saying? I've had time to really. Um, 
dibble and dabble into everything from from modeling you know i'm still doing youtube uh to i'm forex trading hosting at clubs and things like there's so many like ways you know what i'm saying to to make to make money my music you know what i mean so it's like the hustling side has been very very positive as far as when it comes to getting money and um and just hustling like I've learned so much about myself and, and how much um, uh, effort it took me to put into YouTube and that like it like taking that and then putting it into everything else has really like, you know what I'm saying? It's really like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's been really, really good. Yeah, it's been really good. Yes. So next on the list. Yeah. Hey, look, man. Y'all see that smile on his face? Go ahead. Say what you I was about to ask. I wonder if he feel like life in Africa is better than what he was dealing with in America. That is a great question. That is a great Cause question. he seemed really happy. He seemed but it's like you know how some people be like, dang, if I didn't move to Atlanta, I would still be broke. You know? Yeah. I wonder if like his entire life changed. Yeah, that's a great question. That's a great question. Let's go. Let's get it. What was you about to say? It's really like I don't even know how to explain it. It's been really, really good, y'all. It's been really good. Yes. So next up. Oh, that's what I was about to say. His joy, man. Mm -hmm. Y'all see the joy on his brother's face, man. He's enjoying life, and that's what what it's about. He's happy. You know what I'm saying? And the key part about that, like. When you go on this journey of life and you accomplish goals, you can look back at them and whenever you feel like giving up or feel like you ain't going to look through, you can just look at look at what you accomplished and use that model for you another option and apply it, man. You do that, you're going to be smiling like this nigga one day. You're going to have your mm -hmm. ultimate joy because see it in his face. Let's go. Taking that and then putting it into everything else has really like, you know what I'm saying? It's really like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's been really, really good, y'all. It's been really good. Yes, so next on the list, yeah, taught me a lot about myself. Like this trip has taught me a lot about myself. You know, as a man, like it, I've, I've, I've had, I've, I've, I've been to where I was rock bottom, to when I was up here, to when I was medium. Like, it's, it's over this year of being here, it's been a roller coaster, y'all. Like, I know y'all remember when uh, I got, I got pickpocketed twice since I've been here. The first time, I lost all my cards, my debit cards. But I still move, you know what I'm saying? I still move, I still survive. Come on, big facts, man. Come on, man. Stop it. Come on. Dang. He said it twice. He got picked by all his cards. Like, that's some level and elevation and some growth type of shit. If y'all not learning from this nigga, you should be. Let's go, man. Resilience. You know what I'm saying? Failure's not an option. He kept it pushing. That's what he letting us know right here. I love it. What you want to say? No, I was going to say, I would have called. Man, as soon as that nigga would have ran off, I would have canceled all that shit. <laughs> Yeah, he did and probably got his fresh shit. I don't know, but he you made know, mother be quick to try to swipe. He made if it you work. need a gas, just ask. That's bro. crazy, man. Hey, I'm like, hey, a nigga, man, I'm real what? sensitive with niggas around me, so it, a nigga ain't gonna oh, make it through going my, my titties. You touch I'm me, I'm sticking me. Let's go. Remember when uh, I got I got pickpocketed twice since I've been here. The first time I lost all my cards, my debit cards. But I still moved, you know what I'm saying? I still moved, I still survived. Come the on. second time, I lost my phone. I thought it was the end of the world. I know y'all remember, I thought it was the end of the world, but I still survived. Come on. So those situations, you know what I'm saying, it made me even stronger. Like, during that point, like, I didn't understand. Like, I didn't know why it was happening to me. But but now that I look back, like, it. it has made me such, such, you know what I'm saying? It has made me more stronger, you know what I mean? So, like, those experiences, have, they have to happen. They have to happen. And now that I, I know that now, I wouldn't, hey, I wouldn't say that then, but I know that now since they have already happened and, you know, it's built me into the, the person that I am today. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. That Real quick before you continue, man, hey, basically what it's saying, life got to happen. Simple as that. Like, when you're going through things, you ain't going to understand why God's choosing you, why it's you, what's going on, but you, it just got to happen. You got to go through it. And at a point in time, why it's raining, the sun going to come out and you're going to understand. And that's basically what he's saying. I love it, man. I love this nigga more he now. Have the message. Yeah, because yeah, he's on this motivational shit. This is my first video ever watching of his. I Let's never go. watched him react or anything. Let's go, man. I, I, but I like his. He, you can tell he for real. Um, passion. He open minded and he he was going there for a real experience. Big so fast. he got he got to taste everything. He got the food. He got the clubbing. And then that's how you get to learn about yourself, as you see. The that's so the dope. This even dope. even the bad stuff. Like I would have. The pickpocket, the debit cards, and phone niggas don't even like, lose that dang, in America. I, I would have tripped, dude. But you know, they so quick, you don't even know who. He didn't know He probably didn't even know until, like, uh, he when he got home. He, oh. These niggas got me. 
Nigga, he, he, he was his phone. Yeah. He like, they got me again. You he know said, what they say? Uh, fool me once. Yeah. Yeah. Shame so, on um, you. Yep. Fool, fool me twice. twice. Shame on me. Fool me. But yeah, my, I'm walking with my hands in my pocket. Well, yeah. So yeah. Like, what are you doing? That's when my nigga, that's why in his last video, he had that book bag right here on his chest. <laughs> Try uh, it if you want yeah, to. Yeah, try me. With a got, lock. Y'all got to snatch these motherfuckers right. on me. Let's right. get back into this, though. And let's they go. will. <laughs> they will, though. Still drunk your ass. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Get back, bitch. Yeah, that was good. So, yeah, like, I feel like I, I really kind of found myself while I was here. I've had I've had the time to let's really, go. I wouldn't say be alone, because that just sounds, that just sounds like, like lonely Bit or whatever. But shit. Everything got him. I mean, that's just what it is. I've had time to really just sit back um part of being here I've, I've had the chance to just sit back and be alone and think and be in my own thoughts and really like piece everything together on like the why um the purpose um you know all of those things i've really had time to sit around and really and really think about and i feel like i've i've actually found and and know who i am as a person and know what i want in life okay you know uh, so that's definitely one of the best, definitely one of the best parts about, you know what I'm saying, being in South Africa for a, a year, you know. And let's pivot right there, man. And a lot of people probably been watching them. Y'all probably been watching them longer than I've been watching them. But I love it. Like, he just, uh, like, he, he ain't admitting he confessing. Like, hey, y'all, I've been on, I feel like he's been on top for a minute. But he's been climbing, elevating, growing for a minute. And he just said he... He understand what his purpose is. He he know what his purpose is. So, y'all, a lot of us, we get little ideas, little thoughts what our purpose is. But if you're not putting that motion towards the ultimate goal, you will never see your purpose, understand what your purpose is, or fulfill or do your purpose. So we gotta be putting motion towards that, y'all. That's all I'm trying to say. But let's get back into this. I fuck with Massa, man, for real, for real. No, solo traveling is not easy, guys. Through all these good and bad things, things, like either. solo traveling is not easy, I. Like, when y'all watch me on, I mean, it might like it might look easy, it might seem easy, but it's not easy, guys. It's not easy. And in the world that we have today, in social media, it's just it's a lot. It's really a lot. You can get stressed, but you fight. You know what I'm saying? You fight. You live another day, and yo, like, can't complain. I can't complain, man. Like I said, like this trip has really helped me find myself and 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 just build as a person for sure. What will I do next time since I've been here for a year? What will I do to improve over next time? So number one, number one. Hey, yeah, let's go and let's get it, y'all. We about to wrap it up right here. And we're going to chop this up and turn it into a part three because I didn't know he was continuing, man. So this is the positive things about the motherland, man. And I enjoy the positive talk. Real talk. Ankle cap, man. I've been enjoying this whole video, but I definitely enjoy the positive talk, y'all. Anything you want to say about this one? Yeah, I enjoyed it too. Everything he says so far, I just, you can tell this is his own experience. And, it's and I like that he's American, so it's like, you know, he was born here. Right. So that's totally different, but he, he literally accustomed to it. Uh, he, he adjusts. Yeah. For real. I love it, y'all. Let's go on and up for this one, man. Y'all let us know what y'all think about this one, man. This is the positive things what our boy Massa think. Simple as that, y'all. Let's go on. Let's get it, man. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, man. I enjoyed it. He, he talked his talk from this one, man. Yeah. This is this is a positive sure video. This is dope, man. For real, for real. No, if you haven't, y'all watching it now. But go check it out and make sure y'all like and subscribe. Y'all probably is. But let's go on. Let's get it. Make sure y'all like this video if you watch this video to this point. Simple as that. And if you ain't checked out the first part, check out the first part. And it's going to be a part three. So make sure you check out all three. Simple as that. If you knew you're not part of the team, you're not part of the family, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button just to click the support. If you part of the team, keep a smile on your face, keep your faith up, stay prayed up, get the comments down below, and all you guys make sure you have a blessed day, a blessed night. We are out of here, guys. Have a blessed one.